Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I am going to show you the list of must-have apps on your Coolpad Note 3. So guys, let's get started. So these are like the 16 apps or 15 plus apps that you think that are must-have or that you should definitely have on your device. So guys, let's start with App Dialer. You have the free version as well as the pro version. As you can see, I am having the pro version. So this is like a T9 launcher or T9 dialer for your apps. So let's say if I want to go to Play Store, the normal way would be to go to App Drawer and search for it or otherwise have a shortcut for it on the desktop. But with this app dialer, I can quickly go to that particular app. So let me type play for PLAY, I need to press 752 and there we have it Play Store. Just click on it to open the Play Store app. So. So that's how it basically works. So let me open up MX player, MX and there you have it, MX player. So it is that simple. Using this particular app, we can quickly switch between apps or quickly go to apps. I have set it so that when I press and hold the home button on my Note 3, it opens up the app dialer. So guys, it is that simple to use and it is that efficient and effective. So the next app in our list is Truecaller. So for people who don't know what a Truecaller is, it's like a consolidated phone book which collects information about all the different numbers from you, your friends and everyone who has this app and gives you information about any unknown caller. If someone calls me from an unknown number, it will try to trace out the contact name using its database. It is really helpful to block out the spam calls. So if we go to the block list, we have common spammers, hidden numbers and block spam SMS. So to block all the spammers, you can simply enable this toggle and most of the spam calls will be blocked. So if you ever get a spam call, you'll again have an option to report it as spam and the list gets updated very frequently. So guys, this is one app that you must definitely have to avoid all unnecessary calls. Next thing on our list is push bullet for people who don't know. So guys, this is push bullet and it allows you to mirror notifications from your phone to your PC and send information to your list of friends. You can directly send links, text, images, any files from your phone, from your web browser to your friends if they have push bullet installed. So it's a very nice and must have app on any Android device. So do give it a look. So the next app now list is OVO. So this is just a simple timer. To start a timer you simply swipe like this and you can increase and decrease by swiping clockwise and anti-clockwise. So maximum you can go up to 1 hour and that's pretty much it. I guess this is the most simplistic and minimalistic design for the timer. By pressing on the middle you can pause or play the timer. By pressing this button you can set it to the default value that you initially chose. So that's pretty much it. The next app in our list is Cam Scanner. So this is like a document scanner. Let me just quickly take a picture. So I have something here. Just let me take it. So this is the picture and now we can do a couple of things to it. So let me select this area. Now it will crop it out and make it into a perfect rectangle then we have this mode which will enhance the image so there you have it so in this way using this app we can take uh, perfect images of documents so let's go to the next app so the next app is the quick pick which is a alternative for your default photos gallery so you can sort these things into folders moments and you can even upload it to the CM Cloud and you have other stuff. So do check it out. So the next app in our list is Share It. Using this application, you can share your images, videos, apps or music files to other to anybody that has the Share It app or else to your PC. So to send any file, simply press send. And now from the list of apps, you need to select the things that you want to send. Or else if you don't want to send the apps, simply swipe right or left and go to the section that you want. Let's say if I want to send some images, just select the images and then select send and now on the other device that you want to receive open share it and send and press receive and you'll be located on this server or a radar kind of thing and once you press that you'll be able to send files so the next app on our list is gsum battery monitor so using this app you can monitor your battery so as of now this is the battery status of my device 
so as you can see the green line is used to indicate the charging time and the blue line is for the discharge time so using this i can know what are the times that the phone has discharged has the battery discharged quickly when the display was on or how the battery drain was when the wi-fi is on so as you can see from this particular graph the battery drain was very slow when the wi-fi was off comparatively when the wi-fi was continuously on it also gives us a list of apps that are consuming more battery so guys the next app on our list is super backup using this app you can back up your apps sms contacts and call logs and calendars and bookmarks so i majorly use this to back up sms contacts and call logs so to back up sms simply go to sms backup and click the backup button to back up the current sms on your device so do note that to back up or restore you need to change your default app for sms to super backup and after you are done you can go back to your default app so i have something to restore let me just restore the sms press restore yes let me go to the directory so there you have it i am restoring about 1000 messages from my previous phone and it all happens very easily just with a few clicks while it restores my messages let's go to the next app so we have the here maps which is a very good alternative for google maps the highlighting features of this app is you have offline maps and you can search those offline maps and you can have navigation using those offline maps so you don't need an internet connection to download any maps you can go to download maps and then from here you can select whatever map you want to download see as a as you can see i have already downloaded the andhra pradesh map so i have entire map of andhra pradesh in my phone so it is that powerful so to download more simply press the download more button and now you can choose from asia africa or whichever continent you want and then you can select the country you want download the entire country or else only the state of the country so let me just go to india so from here i can select and download any country's map that i want so as i've already said you can download the entire map and you can search for places in the offline map and you can even have navigation do check that so do check that out the next app is called the touch pal so this is a very nice keyboard which is a very good alternative for the google keyboard so let me just show you that in action so for demonstration i'm using the true pal once again so this is the touch pal keyboard so this works like any other keyboard when you normally use it you even have swipe but the place where it shines a lot is the gestures so if you want to press the numbers you don't need to press and hold you can simply swipe up from q simply swipe up and you have the numbers follow the bubble and the bubble is the place where i'm actually clicking the screen so no matter what you write what you type if you want to clear or if you want to delete the last word simply swipe from the back button like this and it will be removed so it is that simple going on next you have many other gestures in that keyboard so do check that out. next app that i want to show you is textra which is a sms app so the thing about this app is you have blocking features so if i don't want to receive any messages or if i want to block any particular contact then all i need to do is press and hold on the contact it will be selected and now press menu and select blacklist now it will be blacklisted and i won't be interrupted if i get any more messages from that particular contact so it is that simple and the ui entire ui looks very clean and neat and you have themes option you can customize the way it looks what you're seeing is a customized version the default one looks a lot different from what you're seeing now so the next app on our list is disk usage so using this particular app we can see which are the files that are occupying more storage on our device so as you can see i have already scanned my storage card so this is a 16 gb phone but i have like 10 gb of free space in which 4 gb is being occupied by apps and 5 gb by media so in this way i can usually find out which files are occupying more space and delete them or which games or which applications is taking up more space on my phone so it is very useful app so going on we have mx player which is the best player on android so there we have it we even have themes and hardware acceleration kind of stuff in this so do check that out the next thing is the dialer 
So this is an alternative to the default dialer. I don't like the default dialer, so I use it. So this is not a free app. You can have it, try it though, but you need to buy the premium version or the pro version to continue using it. So it has some nice gestures. If you simply swipe on any contact to the right, you have this call option. And if you swipe left, you have the message option. The entire UI is very clean and neat and you have options for different themes. As of now, I am running the ICS ice cream sandwich theme and I like this look. So guys, I forgot the last one. So this is ES File Explorer. This is definitely the must have app on any device. It is not exactly a file explorer. It is actually more than that. It is a file explorer. It's an image viewer. You can watch movies. You can play audio. You can edit documents. You can browse internet all using the same app and this is just the tip of the iceberg you can do you can back up apps you can restore apps you can uh, access your cloud storages like uh, google drive or dropbox you have chromecast plugin to stream or to cast any video from your phone to your chromecast you have option to create a hotspot directly from this particular app you can share files wirelessly using this app you can start an FTP connection, you can have a remote manager. So this has ton of options and so it is definitely the must have app on your device. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any more suggestions, please let me know. And if you like this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.